Hey guys, so I just wanted to make a quick video. This is from the future, but <laughs> um, there's probably a good chance right now where we stand that the car is going to be going to SEMA. The video will be posted after SEMA anyway. Basically, I just want to show you guys that are on a budget or think you can't do it or something like that. Uh, budget ways of doing a paint job that actually looks good. I mean, behind me, this silver is rattle can right now. I've done a lot of pieces already of this car in rattle can. Um, the key with rattle can is you can use them for color. But then you, you take real 2K, two-part, clear, automotive clear from like a automotive paint shop or something like that and clear coat it with a gun on top of the rattle can and you will get results that are like professional. Um, as you can see, I'm just using Finish One. It's like $130 for a gallon, but on eBay I've seen it for like $80 a gallon. Uh, two-part, so you mix this with the, uh, I think this is hardener, right? Hardener? Yeah, hardener. You mix it four to one ratio and you spray it through a gun and I'm spraying it through a Harbor Freight gun which is right here. Just a basic Harbor Freight gun, Harbor Freight filter regulator. That's it. Just, yeah, and then just get even eight to, tw eight to ten inches away from the thing, passes and that's really it. That's how, uh, this is like a $200 paint job. Um, the only thing is I am using metallic which you'll see a uh, blotchiness in it. Uh, same thing would be if you were using a gun, it's just easier. But if you, you want to do a car in a plain color, like pink, blue, anything, go to Home Depot, buy one of those Rust Rustoleum 2-in-1 primer paint things. Just make its acryl what is it, acrylic enamel and then make sure that the clear is urethane. Because urethane can go over acrylic enamel once the acrylic enamel is dried. So you got to make sure that the chemical composition is right. If you're not sure, just type in Google, will this work over this? Will this work over this? You just don't want any oil-based paints for the most part because they, the vapors come out and that can cause reactions in the clear. But as long as the clear complies with the paint underneath, it will literally look like actual like automotive paint results. And a lot of people don't believe it because you know anyone thinks, hey, rattle kit, oh, that's not good. That's cheap. That looks bad. Um, I did my old S14, my pink one, with rattle cans, and then I sprayed with a clear. That one wasn't as good because I did it outside, and I did not know what I was doing. The gun, I forgot to clean it, so it was, you know, spitting clear chunks and stuff like that, but I still did some sections that were good. Obviously, dust is probably your biggest factor when doing something like this. I'm in a garage with a tarp, and, you know, you can wet the floors, you can spray the walls with a mist or bottle to keep the dust down, um, but these are just small things. You know, like that. So I'm just going to show you. Right now, I'm doing a livery on this car, obviously, as you know. The most wanted livery. But if this thing were just to be one color, you could spray all of it red, all of it black, all of it whatever. Because uh, as you know, with professional paint, when you spray the base color, they are actually matte. So if you get a matte color, like red matte or black matte, whatever, matte, you know, matte, whatever. It actually comes out better because it doesn't matter if it's gloss or not because the clear is what makes it gloss and that's really what makes it nice. So guys, as you can see, um, this is the blue, which is a plain color, and the metallic silver. You can do anything you want, silver, metallic, or metallic, non-metallic. Uh, they do have metallics in cans. Just warning, metallics do like cause blotchiness where like some areas are have a little bit more flake than others. Right now this looks weird just in general because there's like kind of dust from the metallic. I will wipe this down. But I, that's just a big heads up. If this is like your first time really painting, I definitely recommend a plain color because it's very easy. Just just don't screw up with the runs. Spray it, get full coverage, and you're set. And then you just clear it. Don't get any runs with clear. Doesn't really matter how you spray it. Just spray the average eight to ten inches. Do perfect. You know passes overlapping each other. And yeah, I, I'm doing this with a six gallon compressor. That's like sixty seventy dollars at Harbor Freight. Fifteen dollar gun. $130 gallon of clear could be $80 you know it's it's nothing over complicated guys this is great for a car that you don't really care about too much drifting you can make it look decent I mean don't expect show quality especially when you're doing it in a garage because you are gonna have dust no matter what so kinda just expect that if that makes sense but other than that I mean it's pretty simple but anyways I'm gonna throw the camera into time lapse and uh, get this whole clear laid out and then maybe Tomorrow or something like that, I'll show you a clip of uh, how it looks once all the clear is cured and we can roll it outside.
enjoyed this video and I really hope that it's actually informative to some people uh, that obviously don't have crazy money to spend on having somebody paint your car or they don't have a giant shop or they can't rent a pet paint booth whatever it be you know I mean to people that drift their cars to people that know that their car is gonna get screwed up anyway don't mind them um, you know track cars um, the reason I did this partially a little bit of a troll move I think because you know SEMA is like kind of the biggest playing field of all I just wanted to troll, I guess, but honestly, I did it because I knew that I was going to be changing the paint in 2019, the next following year, so I didn't want to spend, you know, 700 plus on materials to paint it if I'm going to change it within a year. Um, the next time I'm going to do it, I am going to do it in a much better environment because I will actually have a shop or something to have a paint booth in, and I will actually buy the right materials and stuff like that. Also, please just remember, this isn't me saying, hey, screw the professionals. By any means, this is not a professional paint job. Uh, it's not going to fool anyone to thinking it's a professional paint job, but definitely if you tell people that it's rattle can, they're not going to believe it at all. Obviously, I did not get to wet sand or compound or anything like that whatsoever. So just remember, if you do spend some time wet sanding the 2K clear and then compounding it, you can get way better results. Uh, the front end of the car was really good uh, with orange peel. But the back end was a, a good amount of orange peely. Uh, I, I just didn't have time to do that for SEMA or anything. So, you know, you guys can make a lot better results than what I did. But I, I, I just wanted to make a video, you know, just to show people that things are possible. That you don't always have to go this kind of route. You can always go a cheaper route. And it's not exactly, so to say, a bad route. Sorry that the whole time that's what you're hearing is them. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this, please do subscribe. Um, I really love doing videos like this where um, it shows you how to do it shows you how to do stuff like this, you know, because obviously not like I said, not everyone has a big shop, and I want the people that don't have the money or the crazy shop or anything like that to also be doing cool cars and not just be limited. Um, so that's really my goal with these videos and just building this whole entire car in my little garage. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.